Good morning, all. Uh, this is Anil Panala. I'm the Senior Technical Program Manager uh, at Microsoft. Uh, my colleague, Ying Shi, actually is the Principal uh, Software Engineer Manager. Unfortunately, couldn't join us today. I'm, I'm sure he's, he's listening to us today uh, remotely, and he's been, he's been contributor in, in this presentation as well. So we, we both uh, was thinking what to share in this, in this forum. I mean, I'm sure most of you knows about the Sonic and you've been very closely collaborating with us. So, and we just wanted to give a little glimpse and the insights of how the Sonic qualification is done when, any, when there is a change request comes in and, and, and how we actually look at it and why the Sonic quality is important. We wanted to give a little uh, insights to the, to the community here and what kind of help or support we are looking to, towards from the community as well. So uh, in the quick agenda here, so we'll, we'll do the quick introduction on Sonic. I'm sure most of you, we are in the Sonic Summit, so we don't really have to explicitly mention, but I'm sure uh, we wanted to give you a little uh, insights uh, on the Sonic introduction as well. And we wanted to give you why Sonic quality is very important at the, at the stage we are in. We, we did a lot of uh, enhancements in the Sonic and why it is very important at this point. And followed by the some of the control process uh, it's been following right now for any of the image validations, and and what's working currently well and what support needed from the community. So let's dive in. So uh, I'm sure this is one of the classic slide. I'm sure you might be knowing it. So Sonic software, open source for networking in the cloud. It's it's open source by Microsoft and its partners, and then joined Linux Foundation. There are many benefits of Sonic, uh, and some of the key benefits uh, we wanted to highlight here is uh, it's basically it disaggregates the hardware, network hardware, and the software, which is very, very important at the, the industry level we are at. We don't have to lock in the hardware and the software together. So that's the benefit of the, of the Sonic, and the container solution actually offers consistent you know, uh, operation and maintenance, as, as we just heard from the Dell. They, they also were able to... Uh, bring up with new solution like SuzyQ, we can do a lot of enhancements uh, on, on top of Sonic. And, and in the, even in the security level also, we can have a lot of features and functionalities through applications, we can keep adding them. And the beautiful benefit here is uh, when, we, when we have a bigger scale organizations and we have a lot of physical switches and, and either multi, uh, running in a multiple network operating systems, instead of that, with Sonic, we can actually replace with as a one network operating system. So that's, uh, it'll be easy for the management and operations as well. So what is Sonic, right? So again, going to the basics of it, uh, Sonic is a Debian Linux-based uh, uh, network operating support, uh, system which support uh, supported by many physical uh, switching platforms, and it, it also has all major ASICs. On the right side, I'm sure this is one of the classic diagram um, you might have seen from uh, from many uh, time. Uh, so all the physical layer actually uh, we have a SI, which is like a switch abstraction interface, which acts as a hypervisor for the whole solution. Uh, and it actually helps uh, in you know communicating the SDK communication back to the north uh, north side of it. So uh, the Sonic is consists of a lot of components, uh, and most of all all the components are containerized using Docker's, which enable um, enable to build uh, whatever the calls you want or based on scenario which needs to be uh, pulled out or the call we can do uh, on the component level as well. On the top. Uh, since it's all containerized, you can use any kind of uh, um, uh, containerized uh, management tools uh, like Kubernetes or anything like that on top of it and keep adding more more, more applications for uh, configuration and management tools as well. Uh, and I, we just wanted to say thank you to all the community members. I think it's, it's been growing pretty well. Uh, I've seen a lot every year over a year. We have seen new new community members has been added, and thank you for all, everyone for contributing into this and uh, making together uh, as a, one of the best networks uh, operating system in the world. So uh, it's it's just a glimpse of uh, uh, how Sonic is powering Azure Cloud basically. If you see, uh, there are multiple layers in, in the network. We, we have a tier zero, which is like a top of rack. We have a tier one, which is actually leaf. We have tier two, which is uh, spine, and we have one and above on top of it. 
uh, the, the, the blue one indicates where actually currently we already enable the sonic. So most of the tier zero and tier one, we already enable the uh, sonic. Uh, tier two, we are actually currently in, in progress. We've been, we've been working on that. It's sonic for chassis. It's coming in, in the tier two layer. And it's gonna go above that and uh, even the van and everything, we have, we have plans for that as well. Uh, on the management side, we also have M0s which are enabled by Sonic already and we are working on the C0s as, as well. So this is a kind of a high level of how, how the adaptation rate, uh, it's not just uh, how the adaptation rate within the Azure itself, how we are trying to do and, and uh, we've been uh, going towards it. All right, so uh, why Sonic is important, right? Why Sonic quality is very important. So uh, we, we came a, a way of journey, right? So we did a lot of things. Uh, the features has been imp increased a lot. The functionalities has been increased a lot and the complexity of the whole Sonic itself, uh, we've been improving and uh, there are a lot of new SKUs have been entering into this Sonic, supporting the Sonic and a lot of combinations with T0s, T1s and T2s has been there and the adaptation rate has been increasing. The footprint in all the things is increasing. So it's actually, we started with a small and we are in the very big stage at this point. And everything what we are doing is uh, quality, it makes very, very important. And, and also the shifting left the quality, right? So finding the early bugs, which actually gonna save a lot of time and also the cost for the, for the organizations as well. So, and, and we are trying to see how the community can also help us to uh, find the early bugs before we you know, start getting into the, into the production networks. So uh, we would like to share some of the process we follow currently. So any, uh, anything in the community or anything we see, right? So there are, there are a couple of ways we do it, right? One is the, any of the feature requests, uh, we have it or the issue reporting. So any feature request will go through the high level design review and the test plan review and which concludes as a PR creation or any issue being reported within the uh, uh, reporter within the community, we, we do the issue triaging and we find the solution and we create as a, as a, as a uh, pull request or as a, as a new change request into the, into the system. So, and this is one of the key uh, slide of, of this and what we do with respect to the process, right? So uh, any of any any pull request, anything, any change request has been created. So before it's merged with the code, there is a series of unit tests being done uh, in the in the in the environment, and that's very very important. And every every change has to go through a PR, and and because uh, we need to do the protect the image integrity, and we. We run, we make sure all the unit test is actually passed and, and before we merge the code. And that's the first stage of it. So this is a stage process. So once we, uh, once we go through that cycle, so it will go as an image build and then it goes to the image qualification. So image qualification uh, has more, uh, more advanced qualification, more testing is, in, is done across in, the, in this stage where we have integration testing, we do the data and the control plane testing, and we also make sure that it's been tested across the multiple physical uh, appliances uh, before, uh, and we make sure that it's, it's completely tested to 100 to 100% before we, we call it as a ready to deployment. And that's where this is, these stages are very important. And we will, any, any, any mechanism, anything we feedback goes back any of the stages. For example, we find issues in the image qualification side or even, even in the pilot or production, whatever uh, issues we observe, we try to get back as a feature request or the bug fixes. And we try to make the changes again with the same process. So in this, uh, in this also, we, we wanted community to help us. Uh, any, anything we find issues ahead of time, we wanted your support to look into it and help us you know, build it more faster solutions on that. All right, so what, what's currently working, right? This, uh, we, we have full support from community and, and it, we have a lot of uh, comprehensive quality gatekeepers. So as I mentioned, we do unit testing, integration testing, control plane testing for building images. We make sure before we merging the code itself, we do a lot of uh, checks and it's very important. And every feature and change request has to go through a, a PR process and, uh, and the control process in place before we merge it. 
and we've been growing the number of test cases, right? So every year by year, we've been improving and keep adding all the test cases, and this is where we need help from you as well to increase uh, and to support and help in building more test cases into that, and for all different combinations and layers within the within the network. And as I said, com community has been has been helping us with the unit testing and and repo management as well. And these are the things which have been going well for any of the qualifications so far. Uh, what we actually need, I mean, and we, we, need, uh, we need support from you guys to share and any of the upstream test cases you've been running across your organizations. And we are okay and we, we, are, we, are, we are open to listen some of the met test methodologies you've been using. And we want to see them, evaluate them and adapt them, you know, if there are any, any new things you've been in innovated from your side. Uh, any 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 test case reporting tools you've been working on? Uh, we wanted to hear from you, and if you can share across that. And we, as I mentioned earlier, we wanted you to help contribute in growing the the control plane and and all the test cases uh, for the Sonic qualification, and also not just the Sonic itself, right? So we also wanted your help or contribution towards the SI test and the infrastructure uh, on testing on that as well. So yeah, so thank you for listening and, and we wanted you guys to help us in, in all the ways. You've been helping already, but we, we request you to look into this and see how, how you can add or contribute, uh, contribute to the SONIF qualification. Thank you. Any, any questions? You're saying the one specific SKU which is not working, or is it? Uh, normally, I think uh, when we when we there is two different streams we do it. So when we do the publicly available any images, we have a generic images specifically which can be deployed into any of the SKUs you have. And if if we work on any of the specific Q SKUs, we also give a different images for that specific two. Um, if if you don't have a specific on that list. I think you can come back to us or come back to the community and share that whatever the issues you've been observing with the specific images, with the specific SKUs, and we can do a triaging on that, why this is not working, and we can definitely look into it. But the, the cycle of the image processing, uh, we wanted to continue every six months, and, and we want to see if these issues can be identified ahead of the time, or you can we can still maintain or support the older versions if you are still running that, if you have uh, issues in the newer versions. Uh, but it's it's we are ready to listen to them and as a community we can try to resolve them.
But yeah, if you have any specific ones, we can, as Shin mentioned, right? You can bring it up in the in the triage meetings. We can definitely take a look and, yeah, absolutely. Sure, sure. Um, I think the question was uh, 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 security patches, right? So, and which is not part of the uh, any of the upcoming releases. I think he has a concern that uh, where, what is the roadmap for that feature and all. Is it is it this question you're asking? Right. I think Shin already shared what what we're planning for the 2022, 2023, 05 release. Uh, we have a roadmap for every six months on that, and and I'm sure. Um, if it's not there in the list, and we'll definitely. Uh... So uh, on the question of uh, security release, right? So I think the security patch is not something that uh, always go with the release, right? This vulnerability are getting un uncovered at any random time. So it may or may not go well with any release planning. And uh, they also, uh, in reality, there's a lot of consideration that uh, uh, a security patch uh, uh, issue have to follow the common industry, like a CVE process. Right, so you, you cannot just open up a, a security issue to everybody overnight because a lot of people are actually running on this uh, uh, in the infrastructure. So uh, uh, this is something that in the, in the Sonic uh, uh, TSC we have started the discussion of uh, how do we uh, want to manage the disclosure. Right? There's a certainly upstream disclosure of uh, stuff like you mentioned on FRR on news and maybe some CVEs from Debian itself and maybe some CVE in uh, whatever SSL Right, so this is uh, stuff upstream, uh, and the Sonic team is more a community is more on the receiving end of things. Uh, how do we react to it? And then there are certainly going to be things that uh, it's actually part of a core Sonic, right? Maybe someone made a Sonic change that is having a security issue. So uh, I, I don't think the uh, we have a valid uh, kind of ready uh, step yet. The uh, TSC is discovering uh, discussing of how do we uh, want to handle that collectively because we have a lot of uh, operators that is uh, probably need some time to clean up the fleet right, in the infrastructure. And then we have vendors who need to kind of uh, prepare the, for the operators so that they can roll out, right? So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. You you will see some analysis uh, on the FR specific FR things coming soon. There's some uh, there's actually some discussion in the TSC community uh, 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 on that front on the FR vulnerabilities on whether that's a real one that's impacting Sonic or not. Uh, we will uh, have those kind of analysis coming. Thank you, Leo. That was a good question. Uh, any other questions? I think most of them automated and yes, yes, yes. The final. These are more of a platform, you know, uh, specific on that kind of thing, yeah. Any questions? All right, thank you so much.